care and training specialist here at Delta Defenders. She's turning 23 years old today. Yeah, she's right in the center there currently hanging out with T and Megan. Um, it looks like they're gonna do something that she really seems to find very enriching, really enjoy, which is what we call water work. We're in the water with these incredible animals here. So Jenny here is gonna uh, be hanging out with Corona here. Now Corona is a very special dolphin. I'm very lucky to be able to tell you guys about her today. So again, like I said, she is turning 23 years old. She is one of our pros here at Dolphin Adventures. She's a dolphin who is very relationship-based, which means it takes a whole lot of time to build a relationship with her. If you don't have a strong relationship with her, she won't even give you the time of day. She'll just move on. So it's really important for us to spend quality time with Corona here to be able to get to, to know her and have her be able to get to know us very well also. Now here at SeaWorld, we like to really celebrate our dolphins' birthdays, just like our birthdays. We have a very special birthday cake here for Corona. Now, unlike us, it's not gonna be made out of real cake material, but we do have treats made out of ice and even sugarless and flavorless jello. So here we have a giant 23 there for Corona, and ice treats is something that Corona really seems to enjoy right on top of that water here. And she's out here with some of her best friends as well. So it's a very, very unique and special moment for you guys to be able to see. Like I said, all of our dolphins are on their birthdays. We try to make it special for them, like we would for us. Now, Corona here also seems to really enjoy learning new behaviors. She loves learning from her trainers every single day, along with her pod mates, and she's definitely also a fan favorite among our trainers here. She loves spending time with Jenny and her experienced trainers. Like I said, I've known her for a very, very long time. Now, Corona is also hanging out with a few of her buddies out here. We have Monica, who's one of our youngsters. She's nine years old, and she's a dolphin who loves to be the center of attention. You guys also have the opportunity to see a dolphin here named Bullet, who's right along the glass here on your left-hand side. Bullet's our one and only common dolphin here at Dolphin Adventure, so she's going to look very unique in her coloration compared to our Atlantic bottomless dolphins that you guys are having the opportunity to see as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these animals are absolutely incredible. We're so lucky to be able to share them with you every single day. Being able to hang out with one of these animals is definitely one of the best parts of the job. But the second best part, well, that's sharing these incredible dolphins with each and every one of you guys here. Here at SeaWorld, we use principles like positive reinforcement uh, to train our animals. Now what that means is we're always going to be focusing on what we're looking for, what's called the desired behavior. And anytime we see something that we're not necessarily looking for, what do you guys think we do? Nothing. <laughs> we ignore it and we move on. And that's a really great foundation of how we uh, hang out with these animals and care for these animals is we're always focusing on that positive here. So right now you can see Jenny over here at the glass here hanging out with Corona because she was, she was asking for her tail flukes there. Now a really important behavior that we can ask our animals to do is to present those tail flukes. And what we can do with that, we can actually insert a needle just like we would with our arms to get a blood sample. It's a great way to help with their we call it their husbandry. These animals will also slide up right onto a scale so we're able to get a weed sample for them to make sure they're at a healthy weight and have a healthy diet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, sharing animals with you is certainly one of the best parts of the job, which is why my new friend, Chris, is that you? Gets to meet one of our dolphin family members. Go ahead and come on down here, Chris. Let's give him a nice warm San Diego. Welcome, everyone. Good job, Chris. All right, go ahead and come up to the uh, top here. You can get your hands back for me. MJ! All right, we're going to hang out with Monica here. What I want you to do, Chris, to say hi to Monica. I'm going to ask her to roll on over here. Give her a nice wave hello. She'll be right on back to you. Now, Monica here is one of our most full cool dolphins. We're going to see if she wants to sing us a song, okay? What I want you to do, put two fingers out like this. Great, bounce them up and down. 
know what she said. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> All right, Chris. Now, one of the best ways for us to build our relationship with Monica here is by giving her some of her favorite snacks. So I'm going to have you hold one of these fish way out high, drop it right into her mouth. And she eats about 25 pounds every single day, so we're gonna be here for a while. There you go, drop that on in, perfect. That one, there's a squid. This one's called a finger mullet. Drop that one on in. Chris, do you know what kind this one is? It's a dead one. <laughs> you can toss that in too. <laughs> awesome, Chris. All right, go ahead and come on down these stairs here. We have a little problem on our hand. Smell your hands. They're a little fishy. It's okay. We have a great way to get rid of this. All you have to do is look out that way. Give it all your fans a big, nice, big wave hello. And then Monica is just going to wash that fishy smell off for it. It's going to be a great thing to oh.
safety and the safety of others. We kindly ask that you refrain from climbing over the seat.